have another matzah ahuna day. This is so great, right? Look what I have today. I have Shirley McLean's The Camino, A Journey of the Spirit. Did you have this on your bookshelf? This is such a beautiful book. Look what I found. I then lay back and thought about it. I felt the courage to go forward was located in a place in my heart. I could feel it physically. The feeling of courage did not reside in my mind. It was a heart feeling that said I had the knowledge that I had the mind, the body, and spirit to do anything. And the courage enabled me to move forward by going within. I thought of a house that was burning with me inside of it. The only way was through the flames. I was experiencing the journey through the flames. A primary emotion was the ability to feel concern. Whenever I felt concern and didn't act on it, I became angry. If I had the resolve to go within, I could transform the anger into courage and thus move forward. The people in the cars along the highway who yelled, Utreya, were giving me the courage to go within. So the real discipline was not the focus of will to the exclusion of everything else, but more the ability to look inside myself and receive what already belonged to me, joy. I thought of dashing up the mountain after the camera crew. The mountain had been a focus of my angry will. Symbolically, everything from a mountain ultimately crumbles to the valley floor. Everything flows to a valley. All I needed to do was become a valley in order to receive what already belonged to me. In other words, surrender. Surrender to the knowledge that within myself was the balance of masculine and feminine and the ability to find joy in whatever occurred. All of life was a lesson in self-knowledge. The more knowledge we have of ourselves, the more we are able to deal with anything. Let me do that again, guys. The more knowledge we have of ourselves, the more we are able to deal with anything. Our leaders in the world today were examples of that. Each of them was suffering from a self, from a lack of self-knowledge. That was why so many of them acted in ways that were destructive. They were, in effect, self-destructive, not only of themselves, but of the people they led, and so on and so on. The leaders I had known who spent time in prison, in solitary confinement, Gandhi, Nelson Mandela, had resolved so many of their inner conflicts because they had had isolation forced upon them. And they all said that was the most important time of their lives. Today, not many took the time for the inner search, hence the state of the world, which bordered on the brink of disaster. Certainly, the regular people in any given society had no time for the inner search because they were caught up in the competition of survival due to rampant materialism. The people of the world seem to be on a treadmill of survival, ignoring the joys of evolution, which could only come from taking the time to know who they were. I didn't want that to continue to happen to me any longer, says Shirley. She continues, it was as the poets, it was as the poet Yeats had said, the only journey worth taking is the journey within. Let's do that again. The only journey worth taking is the journey within. If the journey within revealed that I had been many people in many different times, then so be it. At least, 
for you going. At least I would have the equipment with which to evaluate how to fulfill the personal destiny I had been born to. I mean, we're talking about the journey within you Matla Ahunas. It's the journey within and so be it. If you believe that you've been here and you've done this so many times, then you definitely have the know-how, the skills. And for those of us who are just busy with being here right now and just having to deal with the havoc and the ups and the downs and all the stuff that just knocks your boots off, when you go inside, when you really allow yourself, give yourself permission to go inside, the journey within, you will find out that you have everything, the know-how, the inner wisdom, the deep creativity from all of this intuitive self-knowing. You can run your race and you can be that greatest aspect of yourself you can be all of that and you can also be all of that without a loud voice the knowing is what's important so peace to you love and I'm